Hi guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. Before I get to the uh, main subject of this, I just wanted to say that, uh, as many of you know, I started a new job in the Des Moines area back in December, and actually will be transferring to another location here, hopefully beginning next week, unless something strange happens in the next day or so. But uh, I finally had the chance. Uh, Jordan Creek Mall is actually only like five minutes away from where I work. And uh, went happened to go in there the other night because I went for dinner with a friend. And uh, looking at the store directory, I noticed they had an FYE. And uh, other people I've talked to and uh, seen posts on in the forums and here on Facebook as well in the anime collectors group have uh, talked about FYE before so um, I have never been to an FYE store before the only thing similar to it I'd been in had been uh, Suncoast quite a few quite a few years ago and also when we had a Hastings about 10 miles from where I live currently so I had a chance to go into the store, and they did have a neat selection of anime and uh, anime-related merchandise. Of course, the only thing is, being somebody that shops pretty much exclusively on right stuff, uh, their prices were very high on most everything. But uh, I did happen to see some collector sets for uh, some Funimation titles that um, have been unavailable from Right Stuff for quite a while now. All right, sorry about that. Uh, you may notice a couple jump cuts in this, but uh, unfortunately I'm having a uh, friend that's having some issues tonight, and uh, I may have to stop and answer the phone a couple times while I tape this, so I do apologize. Anyway, as I was mentioning uh, the FYE there and... Um, I was surprised. I found a lot of uh, out-of-print titles as far as Funimation limited editions that uh, are not available anymore. So uh, first up, if you're around the uh, West Des Moines area and uh, Jordan Creek Mall, you may want to uh, drop in that FYE store and kind of check out a few of the titles that are still in their selection there. Granted, yes, you will be paying $59.99 or even $69.99 for uh, some of them, but if you're looking for the limited edition box yet, uh, you may want to uh, stop in there and pick that up. But I mention that because um, I happen to be looking through uh, some of the <laughs> hentai titles that were actually right next to the regular anime titles with little black uh, spacers over the front. And um, I don't normally buy hentai, but um, the... Well, let me just show you this. The <laughs> the uh, box art alone just had me almost rolling on the floor laughing when I saw this. And uh, as many of you know, I'm not a huge fan of generally most of what you would call the mainstream anime titles probably stuff from four kids dragon ball pokemon naruto bleach one piece not saying they're bad and i wouldn't watch them but generally i you know i spend my time on more obscure titles and uh, stuff that has not been americanized so uh yeah um i picked this up uh for 10 bucks just for the LOL, basically. <laughs> I got a couple of friends. I've mentioned Sushi Bowl before, so Steven Antonio, you know, this is one we're probably going to have to watch and uh, laugh our asses off next time we do Sushi Bowl. But uh, I had to bring that one up here before I started this video. So, <laughs> so anyway, a little story on this. Uh, I don't remember what it was that got me in the mood to all of a sudden go check on the Animego site. I believe that's how it's pronounced. A-N-I-M-E-I-G-O. It might be Animigo. But, um, you know, I have the original 12 discs, or thir is it 13 discs, of uh, You're Under Arrest that they originally produced and put out many, many years ago now. And, uh, you know, they haven't heard much of them lately. I even wondered if they were still producing anything. And uh, so I 
went ahead and searched up their website, which oddly enough gave me some weird uh, certification error on my browser when I first tried to open the web page. It's like, oh, okay, but everything looks legit still when I do Google searches. So, you know, I went ahead and uh, authorized the uh, Mozilla browser to go ahead and view the site. And uh, they are still selling some anime, but it doesn't look like they really put much time into uh, production anymore. Like the, they do still sell the original first season, You're Under Arrest sets, but they are all out of print, and they're only selling the original stock that they have anymore. So you can't actually get the complete series from them. But uh, what discs you can still get are really cheap, like most of them are $6.99 a piece. And I believe they'll sell the first set, or I'm sorry, not set, the first OVA's disc, or disc one, for like $2 or $3. But anyway, while I was there, I noticed something about uh, a Kickstarter program that they originally did last year for bubblegum crisis and that they have this ultimate edition blu-ray set and uh, you know I'm always interested in checking out uh, titles I hadn't seen before at least watching them once to uh, see what they're like and uh, so while I was checking out their site and it says here the uh, the bubblegum crisis ultimate edition is an experiment in uh, crowd production this custom limited edition set was originally available by pre-order only and uh, began shipping on the 12th of December 2014 and uh, as a limited edition set it will never be pressed again and uh, is only for sale on the Animigo website and will never be sold for any less than the price paid by the original backers. It says that the set was not only for the fans, but by the fans as well, and 50% of the funds raised after expenses went directly into the production budget. And the backers of the budget got to decide how it was allocated. So it says here the initial fundraising from Kickstarter raised over $150,000, and the backers immediately made a significant decision, voting overwhelmingly to expand the set from two discs to three discs to permit a higher bit rate for uh, better video quality and extra original uh, or original extra content. Uh, the discs are not region locked. They will play in all Blu-ray players and uh, backers were deeply involved and organized a uh, Wikipedia page noting extra materials and uh, also has extra subtitle languages, although that's for me. I mean, I don't really speak anything other than English and a little bit of Russian. But uh, it says here English and French titles were already available, but they also added German, Italian, Finnish, and Japanese as well. And uh, the Ultimate Edition came in a basic and a premium package. And the uh, this is, well... The basic set it here, it says, had uh, a three uh, Blu-ray discs in a three-disc case set with uh, cardstock slipcase, double-sided sleeves, let you put your favorite cover up front, all the episodes in full 1080p, with an insane bitrate, according to them, with Japanese and English uncompressed stereo soundtracks, and also subtitled English, French, German, Italian, Finnish, and Kanji, in both multicolor subtitles and traditional grayscale subtitles. Uh, animated music videos reconstructed in full HD, postcards, um, high resolution color art, uh, production line art interviews, song translations, much more. Uh, let's see, a uh, high resolution digital version of Bubblegum Crisis Grand Mall comic book, high resolution digital versions of Bubblegum Crisis RPG books, and uh, a uh, challenge coin or a keychain, depending on which of the basic sets you got. And then what I have here is the premium set, which basically has all of that, but it breaks apart the discs, so instead of being in one case that holds all three, they have three separate cases 
each uh, with a sturdy, or I'm sorry, <laughs> each with separate packaging and a chipboard art box with a full logo in foil. Um, Two-sided reversible sleeves for eight packaging permulations. Uh, a larger 1.75 inch version of coin and keychain and custom commemorative embroidered patch. So this is actually not a title I've watched before and uh, just decided for the full collector's value of this and, and the fact that it's a very exclusive item. It's not something you are going to find on Right Stuff or uh, you know a lot of the commercial sites that it's only basically sold through Animigo unless you're able to uh, get a version through like eBay later on. And the fact too that as they sell further down on their stock they are they do say they are going to raise the price on it as well. So I uh, figured I'd go ahead and get this and uh, see what it's like. So why don't we go ahead and cut in here and uh, let you see what we got. For the price. Oh, ready? Ooh, something interesting in there. And then in our cardboard box here, I'm just kind of cut this down here on the side a little to get this out. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. So what do we got here? Oh, this is a, a t-shirt. Uh, while we were organizing our storage, we found a few XL size Samurai t-shirts, so we added one to your order because it fit in the package and did not increase the shipping cost, thus allowing us to be generous and cheap at the same time. Hope you like it. Well, that's very cool, a free t-shirt. I, I am not one to pass up free t-shirts. All right, let's go ahead and... Uh, get into our box that they put in here so uh, already one extra bonus item I wasn't looking for and that's always cool alrighty what do we got here it says important notice the digital components of the set the comic book RPG books and offline version of the wiki with higher resolution artwork can be found on disk one if you have a computer with a Blu-ray drive, or can be downloaded from public.bgq.com. Well, unfortunately, I don't have a Blu-ray drive in my computer. I just have a DVD drive, so I uh, won't be accessing that at this time. Well, that's too bad, but this would be the, uh, I believe, the uh, patch that they talked about. Okay, get that to where you can see it very cool and inside here are postcards so we'll take a look at these quick get them in the frame for you and oh, looks like on the back here like uh, line art sketches as well very cool Hopefully you can see all of these just fine. I'm trying to make sure I hold these as well so you don't catch any glare off any of the lights I have around here. Like I say, I wish I had more to say about this as far as the characters, but in a way this is a blind buy for me. I have not watched this series before. It was more one of these, like I mentioned earlier, I just wanted to get this set for the collector's value of it. But it's not like it's just going to sit on my shelf. I do try to make sure that uh, I watch what I buy here. I'm not one of those people that just wants to buy something to have it just sit there and look pretty. I, I do have to open everything up. I'm not just looking to buy something and resell it. Get that in frame for you. And the last one here. Well, that's a little different. I'm going to guess, if I get this really closely, this is actually pretty much the name, I'm guessing, of everyone who funded 
the Kickstarter. If I get this really close, yeah, you have to look very closely at this to, uh, there we go. Bubblegum Crisis Ultimate Edition pre-order backers. Wow. So uh, I was not one of these people, but uh, congratulations to everybody whose name that they fit on this card for uh, bumping in $150,000 to put this together. Okay. And uh, yeah, you have to look really carefully here because buried under there is the coin and keychain. So this would be the coin, and it's a uh, full color coin too. That's pretty cool. It is a nice, heavy, solid coin. Bubblegum Crisis Ultimate Edition 2014 AD Submit is what it says around the edges of this. And on the other side here, we have uh, Mega Tokyo 2032 AD Bubblegum Crisis Resist. Did you see that? Very cool. And then the keychain here. We've got a logo that says Mega Tokyo AD Police. And a very cool uh, skull on a sword emblem. And these are also very, uh, very weighty. So that is not a uh, cheap uh, trinket at all, cheaply made. Or All right, we have our box here. This is the uh, chipboard, good solid chipboard art box. We have the Bubblegum Crisis logo here, imprinted in foil. Let me get that up close for you. And we'll unwrap this here in a little bit and let you see the spine. And the art on the reverse side here. And on the top of the box. And then we have a little blurb on the bottom here about the set. Alright, now the fun part. Let's go ahead and uh, open this up really carefully get into the plastic and of course yeah I'm doing whatever I can not to cut the box and I'll pull the wrap off there quick so get this to where you can see the embossed uh, mech on the side here Same with the front. And the girls are embossed. And once again, the foil logo there. All right, and we have our discs inside. And take those out. Noted one, two, and three on the covers. I'm gonna adjust myself here just a little bit. All right. This is one of those weird boxes with the locking mechanism on them that you gotta come in that way. Alright, and it looks like they have the uh, names once again of all the Kickstarter funders. And that you see the disc screening on the first one here. As I said, this is from Anamigo or Anamigo, one of the two. Take your choice. And I mentioned reversible covers. So there is cover option one and two for our first set. And again, as I mentioned, as you get in close, it's our Kickstarter funders names. Awesome. 
we'll go to the next one, disc two. And once again, the uh, locking mechanism. And there's our screening on the disc. Episodes four to six. The first one is episodes one to three. It's neat how they did this with the uh, names and the image there. And we'll go to the final disc, disc number three. Go ahead and crack that open. There's our Blu ray disc with episodes seven and eight and the extras. And once again, your two cover choices for disc three. The names are all in alphabetical order. Alrighty. So this is a very, very nicely put together set. And like I said, you cannot order this one on any site like Right Stuff or Amazon. That I, well, Amazon, not that I'm aware of. But most any commercial site, it is exclusive to uh, the Animego site, A-N-I-M-E-I-G-O dot com. If you want to look this one up, it is again called the uh, Bubblegum Crisis Ultimate Edition Blu-ray set. And it comes in two flavors, a basic set, which uh, instead of having the chipboard art box and the three individual uh, disc cases, all three discs come in one case with one reversible cover. And you will get the postcard set and your choice of either a little bit smaller version of the keychain or the coin. And those run $70 currently. And... Uh, they will take $10 off, as they take $10 off for every, uh, I think, $100 when you order. And then the premium set, which I have here, which also gives you, instead of the uh, smaller version of the coin and the keychain, you get the ones with this, which are 1.75 inch size. And then you'll also get the patch as well. You won't get the patch with the uh, other edition and of course you also get the uh, chipboard art box and the three individual disc releases along with the postcards so uh, if you're interested in that one that is one hundred thirty dollars but they give you two ten dollar discounts you get one for the discount uh, ten dollars off for an order between fifty and a hundred dollars and an additional $10 off for the order between $100 and $150. And then also, there is free shipping on the premium edition set, and uh, not the $70 basic set. So uh, really, your best bargain is to go ahead, and if you're going to get in on this right now, make sure you get the premium set. So, uh, once again, yes, if you're interested in picking this up, go over to animigo.com, A-N-I-M-E-I-G-O.com, and uh, order yours now. As I mentioned, this is a limited set. They will not do another pressing of it again. And as they sell down, they will raise the prices on this. So, I uh, highly suggest getting yours if you're interested as soon as you can all right everybody thanks for tuning in for another video and uh, sorry this one got a little long but i wanted to be sure to go over everything here with you uh in depth